everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new and here i'm sam and before we start with the video please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks all for your support guys in my today's video i'm going to test a curler uh, namely the one from t3 body waver so basically you asked me uh, what kind of curler is good on the market nowadays and i made some research and i came over to this curler here Ooh. Here we go with the design, looks really nice. So I bought the curler for 135 euro and the curler has like a clip here as you can see and it's the barrel is made out of ceramic. See that kind of. Uh, the interesting thing on this curler is basically that they have like, a, they call it like a smart microchip. So which should limitate the heat fluctuations uh, which is quite good because then your heat temperature will be always stable on one level. Um, another fact to that is that they say basically that you should have really shiny and uh, smooth uh, saloon uh, waves basically if you're going to use this here. And girls, we all are looking for a saloon um, result basically. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Another factor is that um, it has different temperature settings and you can see it here basically. However, it comes with a small handbook and here they exactly describe um, what kind of heat you have to use if you have like specific hair. So they say for, for example, for fine damaged hair, you should use either 128 degrees up to 139 degrees. If you have like chemically treated hair, then 149 degrees up to 170 degrees. And if you have normal to thick hair, so apl applicable in my case, then 100, 170 up to 210 degrees. And due to the fact that I have really thick curly hair, I will go with the highest temperature definitely. So let's start to yeah the temperature settings. Ah, it's kind of tricky, but I got it. If you want the highest level, as you can see, it's popping on and off. This means that it's now heating and you have to um, yeah, use this here. It's not like a bottom, but you have to go with that. So now you have to wait till it stops with popping off and on. But I feel it's already it really heats up. What else do they have? They have like a cool tip here. Hmm, but it's warm. It's getting really hot, guys. No, I can't turn it off. However, this should be like a cool tip. I don't know. Doesn't really work, maybe. And if you forget to turn it off after styling, it will automatically um, turn off itself after one hour. Which is quite a good safety um, setting as well here. Now it's finally done and I can use it because it doesn't um, pop off and on anymore. So before I'm going to use it, I use always like a heating protection because you have to protect your hair, especially if you're working with a lot of heat because otherwise you will damage your hair and we don't want this of course. It's really hot guys. seconds this is my first curl looks pretty cute I need to admit and it's really bouncy like super bouncy You really need to be careful because I just burned myself and it hurts as hell. Wow, it's super hot, guys.
I'm finally done and it took me like roughly 20 minutes you know, uh, for the whole styling. However, regarding this curler, you really, you really need to be careful. Um, I burned myself because I accidentally touched the barrel and it's my fingers still hurting so much. Uh, this is crazy because it was super hot actually. And you just need to be careful. So in general, regarding the result, um, say it like that. It, yeah, <laughs> I don't know whether you can see it, but here you have like some small waves. Um, and here it curled it a little bit better, but overall, like. Overall, I don't really like the result because I know that there are out there are better curlers who can easily curl your hair. And from the result perspective, I need to say I'm really disappointed. Like, it didn't do like a good job, especially if you're a beginner. I wouldn't recommend this at all. Like, is like honestly, it's so it's kind of difficult to put it there because it's super hot, and you need to twist it around your hair in order to not yeah, in order to get like a kind of result there and i just need to say like as you can see curls are really not nice to be honest like no they're really bouncy yes or maybe i did something wrong i don't know this video is just a try um, and if you are a beginner then definitely don't buy this product because it will give you a lot of headache and pain if you will burn yourself there because it's super hot and you never know what happens <laughs> So you need to be super careful. 135 euro is definitely too much money for that. Too much pain for that. But overall, like, no. No, like, definitely thumbs down for that too. Like, it's dangerous, it didn't do a good job. And 135 euro, a lot of money for a curler. So honestly, you can get any other curler which cost less and I tested as well one which just costed 50 euro and I was really amazed by this uh, wizard I will link for sure the video below here however this curler is really just not worth it yes guys I hope you liked the video feel free to share this video to your friends who are interested in product testing have a wonderful day see you soon and bye bye